Yo, welcome to Real Kingdom. It's your boy Bobby Kings, your African best reactor. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly, truly appreciate your first time. Don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to the royal family. This is a royal gang, bro. So actually, today we are doing, we are continuing with the series of Africa, and today we are going all the way to Nigeria. We have told incredible facts about Nigeria, and yeah, I'm ready to brainstorm about this one. Yeah, Nigeria is so big. I really wanna know a few things after all this to know tell me in the comment section which other can african country you want me to react to thank you so much let's go straight to the video in this episode of ftd facts we're journeying into the continent of africa and exploring the federal republic of nigeria commonly known simply as nigeria it's a land filled with music and colors and beautiful people what's happening everybody my name is leroy kenton and i've wanted to give you guys facts about nigeria for a long time a lot of you guys requested it so now let's take a look before we get into the facts guys i want to know when you think of africa what's the first thing that comes to mind for me it's the food oh, like the first thing that comes to mind is diversity culture civilization yeah Dala Jollof rice? Oh my goodness, so good. All you Nigerians watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. Now the name Nigeria, where did it even come from? Nigeria gets its name from the river Niger. And that actually is the largest river in West Africa. The name was coined oh, by a late 19th century... Nigeria got his name from Niger. Niger River, okay. Who named Niger River? Was it called that before colonization? Someone let me know in the comment section because I don't think that is an African name at all. Any, anything is possible. So let us see. British British journalist named Flora Shaw. Now the river covers a distance of 2,600 miles and runs into the Atlantic Ocean via the Gulf of Guinea after it passes through a huge delta known as the Niger Delta. Now the Niger Delta is the second largest delta in the world. Nigeria is also a very multicultural place. There are over 500 ethnic groups in Nigeria and the three largest of those are Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. But not just multicultural, it's also multilingual. Nigeria has 7% of the total amount of languages spoken on earth. Although the official language in Nigeria oh, is English, there's Oh my goodness. Over 500. Africa, we are blessed. We are really blessed. Because I, I can imagine, over 500, that means every person speaking a different language from the name, from let's say neighbors although there is the biggest you know uh, ethnic uh, ethnic group but a 500 is a lot of languages to in fact it's it's i don't know what to say too much too much also also 600 distinct language groups there so it's very multicultural very multilingual but when it comes to religion there is like three of them all right not just three of them but they have the three basic religions and that's islam christianity and the traditional religion there islam is prevalent in the northern part of nigeria according to history islam was introduced to nigeria by a trader from mali and christianity was introduced by british missionaries this country of nigeria is also at times considered to be the giant of africa but why okay so let's take a look Nigeria has a very large population and economy. It's the most populous black nation in the earth, as well as the seventh most populous country in the world with a population of 189 million people at the time of filming this. And did you also know that nearly half the population of Nigeria is younger than 15 years old? 
The Yoruba ethnic group has the highest rate of twins in the world. Igbo Ora, which is a little town in the Oyo state, has been nicknamed the twin capital of the world because of its unusual high birth rate for twins. They estimated it's about 158 twins per 1,000 births. Yeah, that's pretty high. Now, many people do speculate Whoa. that this high birth and what's making them have such a unique way of having twins? I'm just th like thinking all over. Is it like the environment? Is it like the genetics? Is it, you know, all what else can cause this? Birth, birth rate is due to the large consumption of yams by Nigerians. But then again, that's just a rumor. Yams are good for you though. Eat your yams. I love them. Food. Oh my gosh. Despite its large population, Nigeria is still largely a rural country. Only 48% of the population actually live in cities. The walls of Benin, constructed from 800 to 1400 AD, is located in the present Edo state. These walls are the largest ancient earthworks in the world and probably the largest man-made structure on earth. They enclose 6,500 square kilometers of land and they're over 16,000 kilometers long. Originally, the walls of Benin were thought to be twice as long as the Great Wall of China. However, back in 2012, after very careful measuring, it was announced that, you know, the Great Wall of China is still the longest wall ever. And that measures at 21,000 kilometers long. Now, according to the World Resources Institute, Nigeria is home to 4,715 different types of plant species and over 550 species of breeding birds and mammals. Now, let's talk about the movie industry in Nigeria. The movie industry, dubbed knowledge Hollywood is the second biggest movie industry in the so world. I just saw I was like, yeah, that guy is a G. If you have been following the politics of Nigeria, that guy is a G, bro. That guy is speaking, spitting some facts and some... He came with something different and unique, which is amazing and which is what Africa needs. Needs something different. We are just tired of the same old stories. My daughter, I did not see the fire when you saw it. Now this is in terms of production of movies. First we have Bollywood in India, Nollywood in Nigeria, and then Hollywood in America. And in fact, Nollywood produces up to 50 movies a week. And in terms of the output, that is over a thousand movies annually. Okay, so let's check out these numbers. 010101. Those numbers actually refer to the meals of the day. So if you have 010, it means that you skip breakfast and dinner, but you have lunch. And if you have 101, that means you have breakfast and dinner, but you skip lunch. Now we know that Nigeria has a very rich culture and a huge economy, but who's the richest person in Nigeria? Here's a Nigerian billionaire, Ali Dangoti. It's always better to be humble. You know, they say that no condition is permanent. He's estimated to be worth $12.1 billion, according to the latest reports. He's the CEO of the Dangoti Group, and currently he's 59 years old. Now this brings us to the end of our first journey of Nigeria. Definitely tons more to look at in this country. So if you have any facts, Wait, wait, wait. I think there is a lot that I really need to study about Nigeria. No, no, no. I'm not satisfied, bro. I need the culture, you know. I need the dances. I need the their music, the food. I still want more of this Nigeria. Thank you so much for with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. your first time. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm the royal family. This is the royal game, bro. It's a boy, Bobby Kings. I tap out.